Um, yeah, I was actually, because I haven't really thought about it too much, to be honest, obviously. I just, I've just been concentrating on playing football every week, so when I heard that I'd been selected, it was, uh, yeah, no, it was obviously great news for myself and that, And but yeah, I was, I was definitely surprised. What did they sort of, well, obviously they would have seen you when you went over, when you played against the Quins and you were over there for that tour, but you've been playing mainly in New South Wales Cup. What did the selectors sort of say? They they say they've been watching you play New South Wales Cup, or what, what did they sort of base just their selection on? Did they tell you? Yeah, well, no, I haven't really spoke to the selectors or anything, to right, be honest, okay. but obviously I think being over there in February when it was for the, for the the against the Quins, um, they'd obviously seen me play then, but I think, yeah, I think they've obviously done a little bit of research and watched a few great uh, few games that I have played and I think they've just obviously gone from there. Do you feel ready for sort of a, an international a test match? Well, I'll, obviously it's a big thing and I'm going to give it my best shot so we'll, we'll, we'll see how I go but yeah I've been selected and I'm just going to give it give it my all. You, I don't think you, you named a squad a little while ago and you weren't in that did they do you sort of know why they've sort of changed things now or added you in now or? No I'm not, I'm not sure my I didn't even know they named a squad before that either right, so okay. Yeah, no, I'm not sure on, on that. Are you looking forward to it as a sort of an experience? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, it's a massive honour. Um, like I said, as a young fella, you always want to represent your country and to be doing that as a young fella I am now still, it's, um, yeah, it's a big thing. I'm really excited, so uh, hopefully when it gets there, I think it will kick in a little bit more. It's probably the biggest match of your career so far, it's oh, say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Obviously, playing our NRL was, was a massive thing for myself, but playing for your country... It's, yeah, I suppose it's even bigger. It's the biggest game I'm probably going to play in a long time. Mm. Wouldn't have thought something like this would be on the radar when you first moved to Australia, would you? Nah, nah not at all. I, I came, came obviously to Australia and that came here playing through the uh, VRL, which has obviously got me to where I am, um, going through the junior ranks and then into the 20s and into first grade and now to play an international. It's, um, it's, been a, it's been a good journey. Your family would obviously be pumped about it, but have you heard from anyone back home as well since the news came through? Oh yeah, definitely. I had about 100 phone calls last night <laughs> with the uh, obviously being on the TV over there that had been selected. But no, all my family and friends are very happy for myself. With, with contact um, people back at home, what have they sort of made of the whole everything that's sort of going on here with the, with the storm and everything like that? Have you had sort of spoken to people home much about that? Oh, I haven't really spoke about it to be honest, mate. They, I don't think they, no one's really questioned me or asked me anything about it. They're just still watching the NRL as. I'm watching the Storm play and hoping they win every week, so I haven't really spoke to them about things like that, to be honest. What, what about in terms of here and getting more games here? Do you sort of feel the need to, or you obviously played in the centres in your first game, are you sort of working on your game to sort of different areas of your game to maybe get some more NRL games, obviously with Billy sort of ahead of you at fullback? Yeah, obviously with Billy there, it's obviously it's going to be hard to be playing fullback, but I've obviously been working on different areas of my games and different positions, which I'll keep on working um, throughout the year and hopefully. Uh, can get a start in the future. What about your first taste at fullback um, against the Dogs? Do you think that's a bit of good preparation for coming into a test match? Well, I think it, I think it's worked out well, really. Obviously, going from playing at fullback against the Doggies straight into a, an international, I think it's given me it's given me a lot of confidence out of that game. I'm looking forward to um, going over there. You feel you'd feel pretty ready given the professionalism of the club you're in, the training you're doing, all the work you do. You'd feel pretty much pretty yeah. ready to sort of jump into a system like yeah. that anyway. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely feel ready. Obviously, being around the the players that the Storm have and the coaching staff, I, I definitely do feel ready. Now I just to go out there and show the people um, that I'm ready for it. Have you had any contact with any of the other English guys in the NRL? There's a couple of them that are, I think are also going. Spoken to them previously no, or since then? No, I haven't actually spoken to them since it's obviously all got announced last night. I actually haven't spoken to any of them. Have you had any contact with them previously, though? Uh, I remember playing against. Oh, I remember playing against Bird just when I was about under 13s, 14s, um, which you probably won't remember, but other than that, I haven't really had any contact. I'm looking forward to meeting the guys and having uh, the game next Saturday. And have you heard from the coach since you got picked? No, I haven't actually. Let's wait for a phone call on that. I haven't actually heard from him. What about the coach here, Bellamy? What's he had to say? Oh, obviously, they're, they're happy for me and um, they're wish, wishing me all the luck. Um, so, yeah. Guys, is Bird just as big as he was? Um, no, he actually wasn't. I remember when um, I was playing, he was playing 5'8 um, at the time, actually. Um, so, yeah, he's put on a bit, a bit of size. What were you playing? Halfback. How'd you go? Oh, all right. <laughs> what about being the, uh, the first VRL product, the school and development product to play international football? How did that feel? 
Oh, it's, yeah, it's a privilege really, obviously. Um, if it wasn't obviously for the VRL system down here with the rugby league and that, I obviously probably wouldn't probably be in this position. Um, it was that, that's where it sort of all started. Um, so it goes out to them, I suppose, as well as the storm in the 20s and the, the competitions that Australia provide for young fellas like myself. It's, it's all worked out well. Where do you see your position in the NRL? You play fullback, you played in the centres in your first NRL game, you've been playing New South Wales Cup at 5'8. Where's your favourite position? Where do you see yourself in the future? Um, oh, I'd, my favourite position, I see myself definitely, I feel more comfortable at fullback. Um, like I said before, obviously, we. Billy and that um, at the club, it's going to be hard to play there. So I've obviously been playing a bit of 5-8. Um, so I'm just going to keep working on my game at that and uh, see how it see how goes. Anyone travelling over with you? Oh, I think I'm travelling over with Gareth Ellis. And, okay. Yeah. Then are your family going over? All yeah, time? mom and dad are going to fly over. Right, okay. So that should be a good experience for themselves. Yeah, it's short notice, happy to jump on the plane. Oh, it is short notice, but I don't think they'd miss it for the world, to yeah. be honest. Fair enough. <laughs>